Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my channel once again. Today I thought I'd quickly share with you uh, my latest collectible, uh, The Fugitive Predator. Uh, this Predator will be featured uh, in the September 14 release of the new Predator movie that's coming out. And the um, this figure is, I just got it a couple of days ago and it's from NECA. So I thought I'd share that with you and uh, I'll, I won't do an unboxing or anything like that. I'll just show what the Predator looks like, what the accessories are with it. Um, currently what it's in the box, uh, two forearms uh, and the, the forearms uh, have uh, gauntlets on each arm. They're uh, wrist blades, four sets of uh, wrist blades. Uh, a head uh, that you can replace with the one that the, with, that has the biomask. So um, yeah, that's what it is. Seven inches tall, I believe. Uh, I'm going to keep it in a box because these things uh, tend to gain in value over time. Um, so I won't be taking it out of the box and showing you the individual pieces or anything, I will just show you what's in the box and that kind of thing, okay? So this is, I just opened the box and on to the left of it is a picture. Uh, one of the ways you can um, po uh, pose the predator. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You can see the head to the right of its bio mask. That's the changeable head and the caster is to his right shoulder. There are the additional blades that are there. Um, let me see, and the forearms are there, and I'm gonna zoom in on, see if I can zoom in a little bit more on his face. There you go, see the additional head there? Um, the caster to his right shoulder, that will be our left looking at him, but his right shoulder. There's the caster, it's movable. The coloring seems to be, um, I like the coloring, it's good. I uh, wish they could have done a little bit more with his fishnet on his forearms, but uh, that's the case. Um, and then going down, you can see his legs. He's got the mines, he's got the um, the additional forearms, the additional blades. Um, let's see if I can get in a little bit tighter. Nope, that's about it. Okay, I can, uh, yeah, oh, there it is. You can see that. So that is a Fugitive Predator from NECA. Just got it the other day. I'm excited about the movie. Hopefully it's not a flop. I just commented on it and it said I've been a follower since God knows what. But um, I hope it's a success. I hope they, the comedy and it doesn't erode the um, the movie itself. I hope, that, I, they, I hope Shane Block uh, directs it well. Oh, guys, I forgot to mention this. Uh, this is my uh, top of the line collectible. It's a, it's a sideshow collectible wolf predator. It's from the Requiem. Um, he has the two shoulder cannons. And I'm moving around so you can get to see more of the detail about him. Uh, and you get to see the other shoulder cannon. But this is from the movie Requiem. Um, where the wolf predator went up against the aliens. Uh, this is the base, and the base is supposed to be symbolic of him being in the sewers when he's chasing the um, the aliens. All right, there I moved them around a little bit, uh, more of a side profile where you can see the additional shoulder caster. Um, if you can see, he's got the landmines that he used uh, in the movie on his uh, chest there with some collectibles. This thing weighs a lot. 
um, eh, I forgot what the weight was, but it's made of polystone. Okay, here I'm showing you the back view of it. You can see his two casters resting on his shoulders, left and right. His med kit. Now, the beautiful third thing about this particular statue, you can change his head. Uh, it's very easy to do. You just unplug the other one and uh, you can um, change it without the biomass, which I'll do in a second. Some predator writing there. here he is without his bio mask uh, you can see he's got one mandible missing and his eyes are off color because his right eye was damaged um, in a battle Here's a close-up of the side of his uh, his right side, and there is the additional caster. This is really uh, strung on, so it moves about. He's not pulsable, so he's again polystone um, material. Look at those nails. They obviously don't trim the fingernails, toenails, I should say. Fingernails and toenails, for that matter. All right, guys, that's what I have for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.